It's maiden day of the Seagulls model Cessna 182 from Gator RC. All right guys, so check this out. Behind me we have the green scheme of the Cessna 182. Now this is a plug and play version. This is actually our cameraman, Donnie's plane. He's got this thing ready to go to the field today, uh, ready for its maiden flight. Now there's a couple colors available. There's a green and a blue, and this is available in ARF and plug and play versions. The plug and play version has six digital Metal Gear servos. Those are 42 gram servos. Comes with a 65 amp ESC and ready to run on 6s anywhere from a four to five thousand pack we're going to be running 5200s in this today so very cool plane enough of the chit chat let's get this bad boy up in the air all right guys we got uh donnie on the sticks over here so we can there you guys can see donnie um, i'm on the camera for today so again here is our cessna 182 in the nice green scheme he got this as a plug and play he said there's still a decent amount of work but let's uh let's get this bad boy up in the air here we go take off so no flap takeoff hopped up off the ground pretty quick and probably less than 100 foot I'll pass along some information. Any trim needed, my man? He says a little bit of left aileron. Well, it doesn't need a lot of throttle to stay in the air. What are you at throttle-wise right now? Like a quarter. Okay. So power system that comes in this is pretty good, right? Yeah, it seems to be more than enough power to do want to get crazy with it I think it will do it so what, what that was like quarter throttle pass right there yeah. pretty slow right no flaps no flap. so he's running a 6s 5200 pack in this so you guys will see what the timer is as we go here and then we'll do a battery check at the end um, he's got it trimmed out he said just a little bit of aileron and we're going now this does come with pre-installed um, or comes with I should say let me put it that way ESC six Metal Gear uh, 42 gram servos, digital Metal Gear 42 gram servos. So, and who doesn't like an easy flying Cessna, right? Um, but they do have this in the green and the blue schemes, plug and play or ARF version. Are you in high rates, low rates? Uh, high rates. High rates. Yeah. But it comes with the motor, 65 amp ESC, XT60 connector on there. It flies well. Feels good. Yeah. CG is, is as recommended. Throws? What are your throws at? I recommend it from the manual. I don't have one off the top of my head. Okay. So why don't you, uh, if you feel comfortable with it, give it a nice, this is obviously the Maiden, give it a nice high speed pass or give it some snot, see what happens. There's a nice upline and a roll. Roll rate looks pretty good. Yeah. And you said that's high rate. That's correct, yeah. So I'll bring it by, do a high speed pass. You guys can see that. That's honking along pretty good. That's another good flying Cessna right there. Again, Seagulls models available from Gator RC. Definitely has some speed to it. <laughs> and when you come around and feel comfortable, you want to try doing a loop with it or so? Yeah. Let's do a little, see if we can do a little bit of a roller here, maybe. Uh, well, we're, yeah, kind of. Kind of. For a first time, first time on a new plane within a minute or two, so it's good. And why don't we do this? Pull uh, an upline vertical and just give it all the power and see how long it holds that. 
Cessna going pure vertical. That that's pretty hard to see up there, guys. Yeah, that, that was about it. Uh, when it rolled out, that was its... Okay. So good flying Cessna plane. Yeah. So usually the motors and ESCs that we get with this stuff is usually a little lackluster. We're always like, ah, I need a little more. I I like it. It looks good. I think. Yeah, feels yeah. good on the sticks. Yeah. I do, I have to adjust some expo here, I think. I want to put a little expo in it. It's a little, little twitchy, but... To your liking? Yeah, to my preference, yeah. So now so Donnie that's sits... Half that's half flap yeah, right I there. Trim any elevator on it, it looks good. It's yeah, good. I like that. Yeah, that looks good there. Okay. All right, so Donnie sets up his flaps like I set mine up on flight modes so you can trim out elevators separately. It makes it easy for landing because throttle control is very, at that point, easy to get um, altitude increase or decrease, and then you can just use the elevator for flare instead of using that elevator to try and maintain altitude. So that's what he's setting up now as he comes around. He liked his half flap setting, so as he hits full and he's out of the power, just seeing how it behaves. So it looked to me like it was hanging it up in the air a little bit, yeah? yeah? So a couple clicks of down elevator to it, maybe? In full flap mode? Yeah, still wanting to fly. Yeah, there you go. Now you're coming nose down. I like that. Yeah, that looks good. Sure, yeah. And then we could dial in your timer. So we're up here at Williamsport, Williamsport and PA, gorgeous field, the river's to our back. Sun in your face here can get relentless in the evening, but otherwise pristine field. We fly over corn and they have pumpkin patch. This is an amazing place to fly in winter time, especially as you get near the fall. Yeah, that was good. I like it. Yeah, taxi your back. So if the video is not great guys, you got to be easy on me. Got to be easy on me. All right. I like that. That was a great flight. Congratulations, my man. All right. So it's time here to do the wrap up. Let's check the cells. Now this plane on the canopy does have uh, some nylon wing bolts that hold that in, but they give you this little ledge here on the canopy. So this is how you access your battery. So I'll let Donnie pull that off. I think you're better off grabbing at the corners when you do this, not in the middle. Just so it doesn't start to lift like this one's already done because I've been grabbing by the middle. So go to the corners and I think you'll be all right. So you got a nice battery bay in there. We have carbon pins and magnets that hold that canopy on. He's going to plug this in. Oh, and we're well, at 68%. We, so you guys yeah. can see uh, flight time in the video. I don't know what it is yet, as always, but you, you have quite a few minutes left there on that, especially yeah. if you're looking for some lazy flights. Now, um, Donnie said the one downside to him was that the plane does not come with lights. So he is thinking about adding some uni lights to this project for um, sure. in order just to doll it up. So. Um, Let's do this. Let's uh, let's hop on out and give you the final thoughts. All right, guys. So again, Donnie, the camera guy. I'm just playing crazy. Um, so with that being said, Donnie, final thoughts on the Cessna here behind us. You know, I I haven't flown a Cessna that hasn't flown good, and this is no exception to that. This one flies very well. Um, honestly, I don't have any real major complaints about it at all. It uh, you know went together pretty well. Yeah, that was, uh, what do you think you had assembly time into it? Um, if I would have stayed on it 
full bore probably i'd say maybe three four hours okay so plug and play yeah. um definitely means though that there was some assembly required there, there was yeah there was assembly all the servos were pre-installed um the, you still had to do the uh, glue hinges in on the motor? elevator. Uh, motor. motor motor was mounted on the motor box, but you just had to fold it up. So okay. it wasn't a big big deal there. Okay, and obviously um, receiver had to go in of yeah. our, your choice. And we fly Jetty. Um, so with that being said, also look, right? Not officially sponsored by, but we throw this in videos. <laughs> Blenders. All right. Um, that's where Prime gets it from, just so you know. It, we're much cooler here. He stole the idea completely from us. I'm telling you the truth, really. So, otherwise, takeoff and landing look great. Look like yeah. a phenomenal flying plane. Good uh, flight times, obviously, by the battery. Yeah. And I think that um, it was rock solid in the air with plenty of power to spare. Yeah. So, um, there you go, guys. That is the wrap. Uh, let's get you out of here. And as always, uh, I appreciate you and thank you for joining. All right, guys, and there you have it. That's a wrap. That is the maiden of the Cessna 182 from Seagulls Models and Gator RC. Don't forget to check them out at www.gator-rc.com. Link down in the description below. Many versions available. Colors available between the blue and the green, plug and play, or uh, ARF version. So, again, um, smash that thumbs up button. It helps us out a lot. If you're going to hit the thumbs down, make sure you do that bad boy twice for us. Like, share, subscribe, all that cool shameless plug stuff. And don't forget to check out the the official uh, Just Playing Crazy Facebook and Instagram pages as well as now TikTok. So with that being said, I wish you guys happy flights. Peace out.